So the pattern that Johnny had is, are you ready? Are you ready, Johnny? Dun, dun, dun. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute. Yes. And for the long armors, you can do this on the long arm. And for the sewers, you can do it on your sewing machine. So since Johnny's not here, we weren't going to try the long arm. <laughs> so no. We're going to show you how to do, put this pillow together. And then our details, this is where I was like, what if we added to it and added some details? And oh, so, you just wait. You yeah. got to get that baby closer. Should we closer? see it closer? Yes. All right, here we go. So the details is we added some hand embroidery. There we go. <laughs> so there's the little love, some kind of some of the half daisy flowers, some blanket stitch. And then look at the top line. Let's see if they can guess. What is it? Well, I know that's not my cardio rhythm because mine goes like this. <laughs> so it's a little heartbeat. Yes. So it's pretty fun to add some little details to it. And it was a cute, cute pillow before. And then it's like you add that embroidery and it just like well, takes it the next takes level. Takes it up. So this might not be a detail you want to add to every project, but there's some projects where it's going to be a lot of fun to add some details yes. to it. Yes. Just personalize it your own little way. So I <laughs> see hand embroidery. I'm out. Well, guess what? You can still just do the pillow and it's super right. cute. It really right. is. It really, really is. So if you're not into hand embroidery at all, that's okay. You don't have to add that detail. So we're going to start you off. It is super easy because it is a stitch and flip. So we start like this. Well, maybe I'll show it this way. When you start this, you don't have to go clear to the bottom. I forgot that when I started this one. And you, what's the one that's very obviously right side up, are going to put your fabric down on your batting and your batting has some muslin and you're going to put it right side up. This is always the hardest step, right side up. And then you're going to put your next piece right side down. Okay. So, so right sides together. So, yeah, That's not yeah. so hard. Right sides together. And then you're going to choose. So like on this one, this would be the bottom and I would want to work my way up. So then I will just sew this top stitch or sew this line, just the one line. And once I get that sewn, I will just flip up this piece. You're going to show us? We're going to show you. Okay. I'm, I'm going to move the computer. If you, if we go black, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> So we're going to do this little pink piece here. Okay. We lay it down like edges. Okay. And then right side together. Yeah, right sides together. Quarter inch stitch. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We're on like. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on demo mode. I'm like, why isn't the foot going down? All right. And so then um, you can pin that or. And of course, your bobbin's almost empty. How empty? We're sewing, 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 sewing. sewing. Oh, we're sewing. 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 sewing, 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 sewing. We're not sewing, we're sewing. Oh, we're sewing, we're, we're so sewing. sad. <laughs> How did we do? Is it still sewing? Yes. Let's sew a little bit more. Oh, come on, oh, come, come on, on, come on. It's, chicken, it's the big game of chicken bobbin, or bobbin chicken, that's the way you say it. And we made it, that's close enough. Ooh, <laughs> we won. We are sweating bullets we here. We are, yeah. So you have this, and then you're just going to flip it up, and there it is. So cute. So it yeah. doesn't have to all be the same. Let me see that pillow again. So it doesn't have to all be the same strips or whatever. Yep, or the it's the same just... width. Oh. Yeah, so cute. Okay. So we did that. Is there anything? Do you put muslin on the back of your batting? I did because I think otherwise it stretches it out. Okay. I mean, you don't, you don't have to, but it really does help. It makes it so that, um, Kimberbell's doing a video what? during three at three. Kimberbell. How dare they? Thank you for being loyal. Yeah. I will tell you one thing on this. If you have directional fabric, 
sometimes it's good to set it here and then flip it over. Yes. Just so that you're aware that it's not flipping back up upside down. So put it right side up so you see it and then just flip it onto the next piece so that you have, make sure you have the right direction because you would hate to have right side up, right side up, upside down, right side up, right side up. Yeah. So just make sure that you do that. Okay. And it's, it's fun because you can either use your scraps. It's a great thing for kids that are learning to sew because it's just straight lines. And so then they can do that. So once you have that all done, you're going to take your top fabric piece. So here's what your pattern looks like. And this is gonna be um, free for club members or it is in the club portal. And if you are not a club member, it's $2.99. Today. Today. After yep. that, it's $4.99. Yeah. So you can download this and on the back is your pattern piece. Okay. And so that pattern piece, I just traced it on to the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. There's a great Instagram reel that Allie put together yesterday that shows you how to use the Choco liner. Yes. If you have that. Yep. So if you, if you were wondering what this little tube of lipstick is in your sewing supplies and you've forgotten, that's your Choco liner. All right. So when it has, you take it off and it has just the little wheel on there. So, yep. And that is a great thing. I didn't, I wish it didn't look so close to a feminine product. <laughs> The saying, right? She just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I like like feminine lipstick. <laughs> What's the finish size of the pillowcase? The heart looks quite large. Yes. So it is by 18, 18, 18 by 18 is the finish. 18 by 18. But if you want to do them smaller, you can do them yeah. smaller. If you wanted to do four, mm -hmm. if you wanted to do two. Yeah. So, so yeah, you okay. can definitely do that. And you can, like I said, if you wanted to do however you want to do it, it's your pillow. You get a kind of springboard office that's what's great about those Thanks, kinds of Kathy. things all right so we have some scissors you know we're going to cut this out not with just this sorry the scissors like right behind there yes okay. all right the scissors scissors Doctor. We're, we're on a little teeny space today <laughs> <I know. laughs> these are good scissors oh not like logan's they're like logan's oh there's a sweet spot where you can cut. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about an inch long. So guess what? That's wrong. You don't want to cut it first. You <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? Bloopers, <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> Johnny, where are you? This is your pillow. <laughs> what you want to do is you're going to actually trace it both sides. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to sew around your heart. And then you can do any quilting on the outside. And then you very carefully have to cut that heart out. So once oh, it's, man. this is reverse applique. And oh, so, man. Okay. Um, so put it down. So, and then carefully, that's why I brought the snips. It's because <laughs> it's like, you can carefully cut that out. And then when you lift it up, should I show you what it looks like? So this would all be sewn down. Do you want me to cut it for you? Yeah, no, we'll okay. Roll. All right. You don't trust me? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have all of this, the little fabric peeking through there. So just like that. <laughs> there you go. Look now so what cute. product are you going to get your <laughs> Okay, Judy. <laughs> no, let's stick with toilet paper. <laughs> Please, pass that pace of life. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, like I'm trying to lift up your shirt. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Johnny, come back. <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to start yelling your name. <laughs> so, super easy to do um and then once you have that done you would just use your back to do an envelope style back you want to show them the back so you just sew your two pieces and they just overlap quite a bit so that you don't have your fat man tummy coming out there or if you're like me throw a zipper in it i mean that's that to me oh, that's be easier than easy? an envelope really yes i love to put a zipper in it rather than an envelope why 
because it's so much easier. <laughs> Because I hate to work this hard. And because this is what my pillows look like when I don't have one. Yeah, you have to overlap. So in the directions, it's like 32 inches and you're overlapping it. I like know they it fold back it, about four and they're overlapping about four. It never works for me. So, and if you think you're tight on fabric, yeah, it's not Just good. throw a zipper yeah. in there. Yep. It really, really would be better. See, Tina's, we're soul sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Will you show me how, Allison? Absolutely. Today? Or do you need to get your butt back to work? And then I'll show you. For what? what they, to put a zipper put in. A zipper in? Yes. Come on, we, we've showed that. We'll show it. We'll get someone to do it, one of their things. Pretty yes. Soon. Hey, maybe next week. Maybe. What's next week? Maybe somebody will put a zipper in. Maybe. Next week is all about... Can I spill it? It is Thursday already. <laughs> it is my spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, don't forget about the toilet paper quilt. Yes. Yes, I'm not forgetting, Barb, but I just haven't brought myself to do it. Did you take it in your bathroom? That's what they told me. Have you seen that? <laughs> I did. <do. Yeah. laughs> I just think that's fantastic. Okay, take a class from Barb. She loves zippers. I love zippers too, and they're really easy, especially in pillows, and especially if they're not hidden zippers. I mean, I just like to put the old open zipper on there. Oh, make or it the zipper Bell. theme week. Actually, the theme week is so in love. S E W I had to think of my project. -E. Yes. I'm not going to tell you what the projects are going to be, but, but it's all about so in love. So, and it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> so zipper theme week. Okay. We'll have to think about it. Yep. That there. would be. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a great project, Johnny. Yeah. I was happy to fill in and I worked really hard on it. Can I just talk about floss for a minute? Too? Absolutely. All right. Don't go cheap on your floss. Yes. Get, get like the, the, <laughs> The DMC. <laughs> it's love is gross. I said love is grass. <laughs> I gotta get some glasses. This is way too far away. <laughs> We're gonna need these. <laughs> we'll pass them back and forth. All right, a zippers week. Okay, zippers ladies, week. I heard you. We're planned out for the next six weeks, but maybe we can either do a zippers in a week or we can just do a zipper week. Yeah. Let's call it zip it up. Zip it zip. Zip, zippy. <laughs> There's lots of things we could call it. So don't okay. go cheap on your floss. And the other thing is hoop. Yes. If you're going to be doing some hand embroidery, make sure you hoop. And there's different kinds of hoops. You oh, can I do. love this kind. You do? Yes. Okay. So this this kind would not have worked for this because it has the batting. Right. And it's too thick. Yeah. So, but I do like this for other things. But so if you're doing batting, you might have to go back to the old fashioned hoop. And sometimes you need to remember there's other sizes. So that yeah, so if you're doing a small little love, you don't need the hoop to be this big. Yes. Oh, Nancy zippity do got oh, zipped week, oh. hand embroidery tip week, hand stitching scares me. Well, I don't know, oh. Tina, from the reaction we got earlier, that might not be as popular. <laughs> we would have to do it with something else. Oh, we just had a problem. My threaded needle is no longer threaded. What are you going to do? I was going to show them. Have you ever used the thread magic? We'll just show you with the thread. We don't need a needle. So thread magic. Looks like this. Can you see it? And you open it up. It looks like a little thing of Carmex. Oh, I always wondered what was in there. Did you? Yeah. Oh, look. So this is kind of like your, I think it's beeswax, like mostly. If okay. not all the way. So this has little grooves and you're able to like put your thread down in there. Like that. And then if your needle was here, you just would be able to pull it. And it's it. not sticky and it doesn't mm -hmm. make your thread bleed or anything. Nope. Yep. And it just. Can I feel yeah, that? Yeah, you can feel that. Do you want to run it through there? No. So it. Makes me feel like I'm going to hurt Really something. does help on not getting tangles in your embroidery, like your floss, or if you're hand stitching with your thread. Huh. Um, I thought it'd be greasy. No, it's not greasy. It's not greasy. Hmm. So this stuff is like magic. That's why they called it thread <laughs> no, magic. magic. <laughs> <laughs> Just use this Carmex <laughs> like, <laughs> And you know, we're all about multi
multiple use. <laughs> be perfect. <laughs> <Instead of> plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you guys can i just ask why are you as funny as we are today because <laughs> we're just a six <laughs> I'm gonna, let's rate the audience okay we won't discuss it ready <laughs> They are funny today. <laughs> Either that or on some of them we might, might need glasses. Yes. <laughs> yes. Husband's head is a trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, pull it over. Okay, you guys have got to read this. Jenny Doan said she used to use her husband's head as a thread conditioner until she got thread <laughs> Okay, how would you feel about that? Your your wife is like, how would you feel if you were bald? <laughs> or even like your own, I'd be like, maybe I need to shower. <laughs> A glue stick for lip gloss. Ooh, man, oh, explain that. Did it glue your lips together? Could you get it off really easy? It probably depends on what kind of glue stick. Yeah. <laughs> Elaine, we can call you the six sisters. <laughs> <laughs> too much diet coke not enough diet coke I, yeah, bald is there. beautiful tana but it does not work well i do not suggest coming from a girlfriend i do not suggest that you run things through your husband's hair <laughs> as conditioners <laughs> yeah yeah not great no <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. We're going to have to be careful driving home later. Yes. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, we will. Because we both got a long ways to go. Yes. And then guess what? At least I get to go home. Sherry's in Logan tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be up teaching my class. I should have, I don't, the, the thing is up there, so I would have brought it to show. But we're teaching the um, spring door decor. Oh, it's so, so cute. It is so, so cute. Yes. And it's an older design. But it's multiple hooping. So if you are like looking to up your Kimberbell game, <laughs> sign up for that class. What did she say? Another helpful hint. We love helpful hints. Don't use it as a pincushion either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. That is so Heidi, she's teaching the door decor. Spring door decor. Yep. So, so Cindy, don't forget, if you signed up, you're with Sherry tomorrow, it's going to be so cute. Yeah, I, I love the sneak peeks, and I wish we were up there so I could show it to you, because you know I would. Yeah. But It is online, and we did we did a bundle with it, but I it might be sold out of them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because it was cute, cute fabric. I loved yes. like, kind of the corals and the, yes. the blush, and the, they were really cute. Right. So.